Autism and Girls, Part 1. When doctors were studying autism, they only studied males. This makes it harder for anyone else to be diagnosed because everything is based off the male brain. This sucks. <laughs> Girls usually end up showing different traits than guys do, which is why it can take us years to get diagnosed. I was 15 when I got diagnosed and that's considered early for a girl. I have a guy friend who's autistic and he was two when he got diagnosed. A main reason as to why girls are so late to get diagnosed is because we are particularly good at one thing that guys are not so good at when it comes to autism. And this is something we call masking. Masking is basically just being like a really good actor. It's where you take traits that everyone else is showing and start portraying them as yourself. It's like a lot of copying going on. But in your mind, you don't think you're copying. You think that this is normal and everyone feels the same way that you do. You basically feel like an alien and you're really good at hiding that, which is why I don't seem autistic. Autism and girls part two. This one's kind of about autism in general, but I feel like a lot of them are, but a lot of it is just like my opinion because I am a girl. Get high functioning and low functioning out of your vocabulary. It doesn't help anybody. I know you might think that like saying like, oh, you're high functioning is a compliment. It's not a compliment. It's actually like a reminder that I'm just masking and it's so hard. Masking is the most exhausting thing in the world. It's my new year's resolution actually to not mask. That means showing my autistic traits and not, you know, pretending like I'm someone I'm not and just being more myself. High functioning is basically a label that you can use to be like, oh, your autism doesn't affect me that much. But I'll tell you, everyone you think is high functioning is greatly affected by their autism. Autism's already hard. Masking is harder. It's just like a little microaggression that is, is really, it really, it sucks, okay? There's no such thing as high functioning and low functioning. We're all just autistic. Common traits for girls that have autism. Now, a lot of the following pertain to me. A lot of them also don't pertain to me, okay? And this is totally broad because everyone's different, okay? Remember that. A lot of people, when they think of autism, think of like less social, not super good in social situations. And a lot of girls and why it's so hard for us to get diagnosed, it's the complete opposite. I am overly social. I give way too much eye contact. I'm really good in social situations. It's also very common for girls with autism to have other mental disabilities or mental disorders as well. I have seven, <laughs> yummy. And one of the main ones is OCD. All of these mental illnesses stem from having autism, but OCD, anxiety, and depression are very, very common, especially in girls. Just the feeling that the world needs rules for you to understand it. That's why a lot of autism special interests include things like anatomy, the human body, psychology, just figuring out how the world works. It's our way to figure out how to live in it. 